I got a sponsor to cover the whole AMC theater. So I made all profit and I sold so much. And that night alone, I did like 9,000. When should new filmmakers expect to make money from their movies? It's up to them. Um, when I first got in the game, I started out the door. I said, if I'm gonna make this film, I'm gonna rent out venues, I'm gonna sell, because I already had that mindset from the music business. Now, some filmmakers don't have the experience. So if you're new and you don't know, for now, just make some films until you're comfortable and then learn the business. Take baby steps. So if you do a short film that's 10 minutes, you know, there's tons of areas you can rent out. You can even do a parking lot now, do drive to. That's not that much money. So it just you just want to create, you want to start a, a pattern of not to put out free product. Because then no one won't pay for it. You think that by putting a price tag on it, it creates a value? Yes. Yes. Because sometimes we have friends and family. Oh, I want to get a free ticket. I want to get free, free, free. And then your whole, after a while, you're in a free zone. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay the first time, second time, but you got to say your friends and family, no, listen, this is my passion. Respect my job. It's no different if I have a store. If you go to any other store, you're going to pay for a shirt like everybody else. Pay for my product. Don't do it because you're my friends and family. It's $20. You spend all that in the Uber Eats. <laughs> so, yeah, you pay, you respect my craft. And with the short filmmakers that you brought in, were you giving a cut to everybody? Yes, I took care of them, yeah. Okay. So that's another thing, too. I mean, not big cut because I'm the boss. But, um, but yeah, that's another way to, to get a new audience in. So if you have a short film, you might not have a lot of people to come. Get another filmmaker. Come together. So you're both putting your orders and they, together and build together. It's no different than... So the mindset, too, go back to my music business. If you go on tour, you have other acts. Everybody bring, everybody bring in their friends and family so we could all work together and have a fun time. So each show... And there were four showings a day mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. this... Ni and $900 a day? Wow. Yeah. That's actually... That's a really good price. Yeah. That's back in the day. Now it's not. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm just trying to see if, if, if today... Today, you could do it. Um, so, let's talk about something more recent. Before COVID, I did a premiere for my film, Lola, and I did $30 a ticket. Um, I got a sponsor to cover the whole AMC theater. So, I made all profit and I sold so much. And that night alone, I did like 9000 And may I ask, how did you find the sponsor? Um, once you start building your brand up, people start coming. So I've been doing this for a while. And I had a friend that had a shoe. He said, I want to help you, I want to sponsor. So it's like, the more you invest in yourself, the more people want to invest in you. So it wasn't like overnight, I knew people, I was meeting people here and there, so they want to invest in me, so they sponsored the whole venue for me. What was in it for them? I always help them do stuff. Sometimes I put their clothes in my film, so it was oh, like, okay. that I'm big on helping people, so now people just want to help me and, make, and want to see me in the best position they can possible. Okay, so you had already built this relationship. Yeah, yeah, it's a relationship. Okay. So, so I'm big on nurturing relationships. A lot of times in the industry, people don't want to nurture relationships unless they have a value or unless you could get something. Sometimes you got to build a relationship, nurture a relationship. Because someone don't have nothing to help you now, we mean they can't help you a year from now. So a lot of times we want to, oh, you can't do that for me? That's it. No, nurture relationships. You don't know where that relationship is going to take you. Okay, so if you hadn't had that sponsor, though, then it would have been a totally different... To, yeah, I, mean, I probably AMC would have, I probably would have um, paid for it myself. Okay. Um, but it's sponsors out there. But if you don't, you got to pay for it for yourself. It's days, I, days before I paid for it myself and stuff like that happened. And do you only do these kind of screenings on, like, Fridays and Saturdays? Yeah, because that's, like, the weekend, like, party weekend. So that right come out. Because most people working, you know, during the day. So I try to do this Fridays, Saturdays, or Sundays. So if someone, if a theater said, you know what, I have this amazing deal, it's a Wednesday afternoon? Um, I've done it before. Oh, you have? I didn't okay. make the money I supposed to. But, if, you know, it depends. It depends on the overhead. So if I could get the data Wednesday as a cheap deal, why not? Try it out. And so you make it an event with food. Yeah, and I, I make it an experience. An experience, okay. So a lot of times, like, I do raffles, I, get, I do giveaways. So I make an experience. I don't just, just come see my movie. I make it, you have fun. So Antoine, if I buy this ticket and am I doing I'm online, you pre-sale? Yeah, pre-sale. Okay. So let's suppose I'm spending thirty dollars and then maybe there's an a, a administrative fee on mm -hmm. top of that. Mm -hmm. um, what do I get for my ticket? You get to see me. Okay. And that's, you get that's to see a, my that's movie. Enough. Okay. And you do raffles. So I do. I make it like not just seeing the movie. 
You're going to get raffles. You're going to get some food. You're going to have a great time. I just make it an experience. You get to meet some of the stars of the film, take some pictures. I just make it an experience. I try to, you know, because sometimes you go to the movie theaters and you pay for all this money and all you get was $100 in fees and popcorns and everything. Like, you get to meet the filmmaker. You get to talk to the filmmakers. I do a Q&A, ask questions. So it's a little more intimate than going to a big theater. You just go and see it, and that's it. And do you allow tickets at the door? No. So I tell oh. everybody, do pre. Let them buy it online. I mean, if it's a friend that don't have that's different, but try to do pre because then you could know all your money in advance. And then I'm like, oh, I don't know how much I'll make. You can get all your money in advance, and then we do put a cutoff time. So, for example, if your film is next Friday, by the week of Monday or Tuesday, you should know where your ticket sells at. And some people wait till the last minute, but online is better because you know the money coming in. You use some of that money to pay for something else. So always do pre. I don't do door, especially now. You want to do everything online. And plus, too, a lot of people say, well, oh, yeah, I'm there. And they never show up. And they never yeah. show up. And you, yeah. wait, you just wait for the seat. So everything is online. Cash app, everything online. Okay. Now, merch is different. Merch, I do cash app. Give me a cash app. Or if you have cash, I do that. But when it comes to the ticket for the movie, it got to be online. But for merch, um, and sometimes I do packages. I might have a $50 ticket. You might get a free hoodie, a shirt. You know, you just do different marketing things and try it out. Do people really care about merch? Yes. Why? It's an experience. It's no different than like Star Wars. You get a Star Wars thing, especially if they know the filmmaker. That's even more experience. So a lot of times it's my friends, my family, my coworkers all coming out. They want to wear the merch. They want to feel cool. And then also, you know, I have name actors in my film. That's another experience. So all the little things are just marketing and knowing the business. Um, you know, sometimes you watch the radio. You don't really like the song. We keep hearing it a hundred times. That's marketing programming. You ever have a song that you keep hearing? I don't really like this song. We keep hearing it and hearing it. It makes you want to like the song on the radio. It's all marketing program. Just like if you go around, you see Marvel movie come out on Friday, they got posters all over the place. You keep seeing it. You wasn't even thinking about seeing it, but you keep hearing it and hearing it. That's marketing, marketing program. With the merch, are you pre-ordering the shirts or only cut, only to order? So if somebody wants one, okay, great. And then you send in the order and then it's... So sometimes, there's a, right now I have a website, a uh, little, little movie merch. They could go online, buy it. But if they come to my premiere, the, the merch is going to be there. Yeah, we got options. Okay, how how do you know? Because like, if you look at Diane von Furstenberg with her amazing wrap dress, Who's that? the first time, mm -hmm. it was it, it it put her on the map. But then another time, the the trend had moved on. She'd ordered too much. Mm -hmm. I know now they've come back, mm -hmm. but that was the one thing that sh that really taught her that she ordered too much of her merch, basically. So how um, do we know me, we don't, I don't order too much? Yeah, for me, I don't have that problem. But you buy a little, you buy fifty. And see how it goes. So if you buy 20, if it doesn't sell, then you have, don't buy a whole bunch. Uh, okay. Buy like 20, mm -hmm. 50, see where it's at. And then, um, you know, you test the waters out. Okay, so you're not, you're, you're not like filling up shelves. Oh, no, you're no, you're no. just doing, being very yeah, conservative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, you have it there for people to see at the With screen? The uh -huh. Yeah, they can go to the website and buy it. Merch. So oh, yeah. One. I saw it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a nice website, yeah. by the way. Go there and buy merch and get shit right to you. But I mean, for these screenings, so you bring... Oh, yeah. So 15... I bring... So, like, for Lola, I bought, like, 100 shirts, 100... Because I knew that the man was going to be there. And they bought all of it. Actually, I needed more. So, yeah. Oh, okay. So, so it was... You, you had to take names down and yeah, say, okay, yeah, I'll get yeah. back to you. Okay. The man was really big. So, yeah. If you build it, they would come. What about when people don't buy the merch? What what's behind that? No sell. <laughs> no, but I mean, what? Why? Because we we were taught, hey, get this merch. You know, have your own store. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't always happen. Yeah, I mean, it happens. It's like in life. You might get a hundred people to buy it, and five people say, "No, nah, I'm good." And then you do. So just you know, you gotta take the good the good with everything. So, Mm -hmm. But what do you do to create a desire for the merch that why we should care for it? Well, the movie. The movie, you're going to see it on social media a lot. I'm very personable. So, um, you know, you got to cater to your audience. With Lola, it was, you know, I have a star artist in it, a star actress in it. Um, I was promoting like crazy online. 
uh, and premiered at this big festival, um, African American uh, Film Festival. It premiered at. So there was so much press going on, people really loved the merch. Mm -hmm. Is it also the message behind the film? Yes, another, that's another thing. Women empowerment. A lot of times you can come up with a product, but you gotta have a personal human connection. So this film had a human connection, women empowerment, and my audience could relate to it. 